I'm going to show you the formal British way to drink eggnog. Eggnog, otherwise known as milk punch or egg milk punch, is a rich, chilled, dairy-based beverage. It is traditionally made with milk, cream, sugar, egg yolk and whipped egg whites which gives it a frothy texture and its name. A distilled spirit such as brandy, rum, is often a key ingredient. While historians regularly debate its exact lineage, many agree that it originated from the medieval drink in Britain called posset, which was made with hot milk, which was curdled with wine or ale and then flavoured with spices. In the Middle Ages, posset was used as a cold and flu remedy. Posset was popular from the medieval times until the 19th century. The British drink was also called egg flip, as was the practice to flip the mixture between two pitchers to mix it. In Britain, eggnog was most favoured amongst the aristocracy. Milk, egg and sherry were foods of the very wealthy. So eggnog was used in toasts to prosperity and good health. During the 18th century, the drink crossed the Atlantic to the Americas. The term eggnog was first coined in America in 1775. It consists of the word egg and nog, with nog meaning strong ale. Whether eggnog is homemade or commercially made, toppings may be added, such as whipped cream, cinnamon, nutmeg, chocolate and other Christmas spices. Eggnog can be served in mugs, glasses or brandy snifters. It may be served already within the glass or in a punch bowl. Most home-made eggnog recipes historically have contained raw eggs. If you are making eggnog at home, be sure to follow instructions carefully as raw egg can cause food poisoning. As you can see, my eggnog has been beautifully presented in a glass mug with a cinnamon stick. On top, I have a layer of whipped cream and cinnamon, and the cinnamon stick into the top. I am going to use the cinnamon stick to eat the whipped cream because if I simply drink the eggnog, it's going to end up on my nose. If the chef has left a spoon for you, then you can certainly use the spoon to take the whipped cream. However, in this instance, the chef has not. So he wants me to use my Christmas imagination. I take the cinnamon stick and then I neatly and gently gather the whipped cream upon the cinnamon stick. And then in one neat, delicate suck, I place the cinnamon stick within my mouth and gently suck the cream off it. The creamy cinnamon taste is divine. I continue this action with the cream until it is removed from the majority of the eggnog. Or I can simply stir the cinnamon stick within the cream to allow it to disperse within the eggnog. Once I have finished, I place the cinnamon stick away onto a side plate. When I'm ready to drink my eggnog, I pick up my mug with my right hand, thumb and first two fingers, and then with a neat, delicate sip, I drink my eggnog. The yummy, brandy, creamy egginess of this delicious drink explodes into my mouth. The coldness is refreshing. The different flavours are so unique and it is a really delightful drink to enjoy. Now, I wonder if you thought eggnog was British or did you think it was American? I suspect that I've potentially blown your mind on that. Do you like eggnog? Would you ever give it a go? Merry Christmas.